Personal protective equipment is a very important part of your cutting equipment. So you want to make sure when you head out to the woods working with a chainsaw, a hard hat, safety glasses, face protection, hearing protection. Also think about visibility as we start to work, especially when you have other people around and you shouldn't cut alone, but you know where they are and they're visible. Also the use of gloves when operating a chainsaw, moving around brush, and I prefer to use the mittens, gives me a little bit better grip with less fatigue in the hands. And also the back of the left hand gives you a little bit of reaction time type material built into it. Leg protection with a chainsaw comes in several different forms. The apron style chaps like I have on here are in different designs of just front protection as well as full wrap around the back, but straps hold everything in place. And these are layers of ballistic nylon. There's also pants available for different types of operators. Leg protection is not designed to be cut proof. Two different types is found in this particular garment. The white material is a warp knit nylon. The yellow is a Kevlar. The last PPE item is foot protection. Making sure at least you have good heavy duty footwear with some good soles for good traction. These boots actually have chainsaw resistant material built into them. A lot of people overlook the use of PPE when operating a chainsaw, whether it be because of availability or cost, but in reality, it's a very important part of your plan. Hello, my name is Robert Hollenbeck. I'm a logging consultant for the Department of Labor and Industries. And the purpose of this video is to show you the effects of leg protection and not wearing leg protection. You're going to see some graphic cuts here um, on animal tissue, and some of it may turn your stomach, hopefully not. But I think you're going to see that it will get the point across the importance of wearing leg protection. I'd like to thank Sam Madsen and Madsen Saw and Supply for furnishing a location and the chaps to, to cut up. Uh, without Sam, it would be difficult to do something like this. On the first part of this video, we're going to show the effects of a chainsaw when used on animal tissue. Uh, we're using a large ham here to show the results of the power saw chain tearing tissue, not cutting. Most people believe that power saws cut you, when in fact they do tear you. Okay, in this segment, we're going to show you the results of putting the ham inside a pair of normal work pants and then letting the power saw cut through the work pants into the tissue again. And as you can see, there is no protection. The cut is very deep. In this segment, these chaps are approximately 10 years old. Uh, we're hoping to show here a near-miss situation where you may come in with a saw and you may just touch yourself. They offer some protection, but not as much as we'd like to see. You still have a cut, still goes into a tissue. Okay, in the second portion of this with the approximately 10-year-old chaps, uh, we're showing where a power saw all out, cuts the leg, goes clear through the chaps, goes clear through the blue jeans, it literally goes clear through the animal tissue as well. Again, try to imagine a human leg underneath this. In the final segment, we're going to use a new pair of chaps, state-of-the-art. I want you to pay real close attention. The first cut to the chaps is it's not full throttle. It's rev the saw, touch them. And as you can see, by opening them up, you can see where not all the Kevlar has been pulled out. But if you turn them over, you'll note that it didn't cut all the way through. And again, try to imagine your leg underneath this. You may have been bruised, but you didn't get cut. Note here how the, the Kevlar and the nylon is gummed up and pulled around the sprocket of the chain uh, and ultimately stopped the chain from turning. Okay, and finally, a little bit more aggressive cut to the, the new chaps. Uh, 
Um, again, opening them up. Uh, didn't get all of the Kevlar. Notice how it pulled the saw, pulled the material toward the saw, and bound the chain up, and ultimately stopped the chain. Okay, in closing, this is an awful graphic example of, of what could happen to a human being. Uh, we used animal tissue here, um, but yet, just look at it. Try to imagine it being a coworker or a friend or, or a son or a child cutting firewood on the weekend. It just clearly points out the need to wear leg protection while operating a chainsaw. And always remember, chainsaws don't cut. They're going to tear.